Now, humor me for a bit, and I know you have to go soon, Lang, but... Yeah. What exactly sparked all this? Uh... The conflict? Yeah, I have my own, you know, version of events. I'd be curious to hear your all, your version. Uh, I mean, I hung up the phone on Raymond Rovna. He didn't take kindly to it, so... You hung up the phone on Raymond Romanov? <laughs> yeah. And you believe that's what started this? Uh, I mean, if you look at the timeline, it kind of adds up, yeah. What if I told you that I thought that we should be at odds, possibly even in full-blown conflict with you all before I even left for Japan? Wait, repeat that again? If you thought we would be at odds, say that again? I thought we'd be at odds before I even left for Japan. I mean, sure, yeah, I don't know. Well, I think it's important to understand it from our perspective. So, so why did it start from your was... perspective? I think it started all the way back when Lang changed the sail to Jean-Paul for circuit boards on a whim because we were dealing with some uh, issues internally and John Paul couldn't get back to him. Yeah, and then whatever from you that want. moment... Why does this matter? On, matter? That, this is all over. Well, I think it matters, Lang, because I think it's important for any sort of future relations, albeit business or just avoiding conflict, to understand these things. From well, our this... perspective, it was a no. series of slights and disrespects towards individual members or towards the company as a whole. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, whatever. I mean, instead of talking about it like adults or, or bringing up these problems in a meeting, uh, you guys rolled up, up outside the house and started shooting. I don't really think like we're the one to be taking a lesson away from this, to be honest. Okay. Well, when Lang says that he won't deal with any of us but John Paul, that makes it tricky then right, have a meeting, a, wouldn't you say there's, so? There's reason no, no, no. That. I, I, I don't deal with anybody, but whoever is the boss. At the right. time, Jean Paul is the boss. Because Raymond and OTT promises one thing, and then Jean Paul comes around, and what they've just promised goes completely out the window. Every time. Yeah. yeah. I told you that I thought that we should be at odds, possibly even in full blown conflict with you all before I even left for Japan. Wait, repeat that again? If you thought we would be at odds... Say that again? I thought we'd be at odds before I even left for Japan. I mean, sure, yeah, I don't know. Well, I think it's important to understand it from our perspective. So, so why did it start from your was... perspective? I think it started all the way back when Lang changed the sale to Jean Paul for circuit boards on a whim because we were dealing with some uh, issues internally and Jean Paul couldn't get back to him. Yeah, and then assume whatever you want, it doesn't moment, matter. And Why does this matter? That, this is all over. Well, I think it matters, Lang, because I think it's important for any sort of future relations, albeit business or just avoiding conflict, to understand these things. From well, our this... perspective, it was a no. series of slights and disrespects towards individual members or towards the company as a whole. Okay, right. yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, whatever. I mean, instead of talking about it like adults or, or bringing up these problems in a meeting, uh, you guys rolled up, up outside the house and started shooting. I don't really think like we're the one to be taking a lesson away from this, to be honest. Yeah. Well, when Lang says that he won't deal with any of us but John Paul, that makes it tricky to then right, have a meeting, wouldn't you say so? There's reason no, no, no. That. I, I, I don't deal with anybody but whoever is the boss. At the right. time, John Paul is the boss. Because Raymond and OTT promises one thing, and then John Paul comes around, and what they've just promised goes completely out the window. Every time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that 100% happens. Right, so, <laughs> you know, obviously, Raymond has fucking uh, ego bigger than fucking China. So, 
you know, when, when he hears that, he can't help but fucking lose his shit. But at the end of the day, like, when, when we're saying we'll only speak to fucking Jean-Paul because he's a leader, it's kind of, uh, because it's pointless. They said that they agreed to stuff and they just go back on it a few hours later when, when Jean-Paul wakes up. So it's not yeah. like we're just saying it to nag. It's kind of like, just kind of the way it was. Oh, I'm, the reality of the situation. I am sure the reality of the situation is that fragile egos on our end probably prevailed. But I would caution you and say that the same might be true of you all. And that repeated acts of disrespect towards me and my associates uh, built up a lot. So I would think that hanging up on Ray would... Um, Oh, it's like a, you know, a little assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, right? You know, as they say, the spark that lit the powder keg. I mean, listen, they were going to go to war no matter what. That was just, you know, what caused it. Sure, yeah, sure. You guys don't remember that from, like, U.S. government? I felt like that's, like, the... Franz Ferdinand? Yeah, not the band. Um, not a guy, the... Um... The guy that was assassinated. I get that, yeah. I got the yeah. reference. I got the reference, yeah. Yeah, but come on. The European powers are going to go to war no matter what. It was already edging towards that. Lots of edging occurred. Shorek broke the camel's back. I mean, Listen, yeah. I think I it's mean, important if, just if to If we can resolve this uh, Cypress situation, we can move forward. It's the best right. way to go about it. It's a win-win I mean, at the end of the day, Mickey. Um, you know, you guys are able to successfully uh push your product we're able to successfully push ours i don't see why it would be it's kind of like a no-brainer you know what i mean uh, otherwise it's gonna be it's gonna be competition and competition then leads to equals being fragile and then bada bing bada boom we get fucking round two absolutely as long as you understand that at least from my perspective this wasn't just born out of a whim but this was born out of a decent amount of buildup. and i only mention that because like i said hopefully in the future Mutually beneficial partnerships and decisions can be made between your association and ours. Yeah, right. sure. Whatever the fuck that means. Sure, yeah. <laughs> All right. It doesn't really mean anything. It means that it can be mutually beneficial to each other. As long as there's yeah, mutual course, respect. Yeah. yeah. Got it. We got that. No problem. <laughs> okay.